Using inverse operations this is a level 5 grade E topic. Now we should be at this level familiar with the idea that adding and subtracting are opposites of each other and multiplying and dividing are opposites of each other. So that if I have a question like something plus 5 equals 11 to find the something I need to do 11 take away 5 which is 6. Now quite often you don't need to because you can just if you go with your numbers you can spot that's just 6 straight away. But this sort of undoing of a operation is very important when you get to slightly trickier ones. So if I had something like something take away 3 is 8, it's quite common for people when they're not thinking too hard to think that that is 5. Because you see the subtract 3, you see the 8, and you just take away the 3 from the 8 to get 5. But what we really must do is to be careful if we check that by putting that number in there, 5 take away 3 is 2, so that's incorrect. We must remember that to undo or subtract, we must add to 8 to make 11. So 11 take away 3 is 8. And two possibly new, verse, two new uh, operations that are inverses, we've got squaring and square rooting. So if I said um, something squared is 25, to find that something, I need to do the square root of 25, which is either 5 or minus 5. Now we very rarely use the minus 5 unless we're asked for two answers. We tend to just stick to the positive one. Okay, so we've got three questions here. Probably a good idea if you stop the video and have a go at doing these before I carry on. Okay, so Bob thinks of a number, he multiplies it by 6, and then he subtracts 5, and the answer is 13. So when it's one single calculation it's fairly easy, but with two you've just got to be careful to do it in the reverse order. So we started by times them by six and then taking away five. So we just need to do it by undoing what's been done. So we need to first of all add five to get to 18 because that's the opposite of take away five. And then from there we need to divide by six because that's the opposite of times by six. So the answer is three. And we just check that it works. 3 times by 6 is 18. Take away 5 is 13. So that works nicely. With these sort of questions, you can always check your answer. Bob thinks of a number, then adds 35. So he's thinking of a number, and he's adding 35, and then he's dividing by 4. And that's equal to 20. So to undo that, we start with a 20. We go backwards in the order in which things were done. So we're coming back this way, so we undo the divide by 4, we times by 4 to get 80. And then the next step is to undo the take away, uh, add 35 by taking away 35, and that's going to give us 45. That's our answer. Let's just check that. So 45 plus 35 is 80, divided by 4 is 20, and that's the answer. There we go, another one. Bob thinks a number squares it. So he's going to square the number and then add 5, and that equals 21. So to undo that, we start with the 21. We do the last thing, undo the last thing first. So we take away the 5 to get 16. And then we need to square root the 16 to get 4. Technically, it could be minus 4, but we're really just interested in the 4, unless we're told to give multiple answers. And that's it, using inverse operations.